Along the walls of ACIT, we are able to provide a unique learning space for many of our art students, one of those being our drawing and painting class led by Dr. Lobonja. Dr. Lobonja has been teaching here at ACIT for 14 years and throughout her time here, she has provided nothing but joy and acceptance to her students. We recently spoke with Dr. Lobonja about her students' work and the many partnerships the Fine Arts Department has forged with other programs at ACIT. We have developed a lot of uh, programs, then um, collaboration with the engineering department, with health department, with photography department, and also with CAD, that we would um, design projects that would um, go beyond the walls of the school into the community. Along with the collaborations with some of our academies, the Fine Arts Department seems to have plans to display their art pieces amongst other portions of our school. We are planning every quarter uh, or every marking pe period to, di to uh, display exhibitions throughout the school in a cafeteria and also in the media center. Every artwork that you see is, dis is uh, done by students and also soon we will have a book pub publication and if you see it's all student work, uh, very beautifully designed um, for children targeting children zero to five. Besides the pieces displayed outside the classroom and outside the school walls, Dr. Lobunja and her students have developed a spectacular mural within their class. Uh, we discussed it with the entire classroom that wanted to participate to give a community uh, environment within the classroom, um, travel around the world, have um, a sense of peace, as if you are in a very um, likable environment when, when you would like to work. Dr. Lavonja and her students are bringing the color back to our school. Within the past few months, they've created a beautiful mural, multiple children's books, and so many more beautiful pieces to be shared throughout the school. Dr. Lavonja and the Fine Arts Department plan to further their curriculum and improve it for many years to come. So if you happen to be walking down the 1500 hallway and the art classrooms, make sure to stop by and admire their art pieces or even talk to Dr. Labunja herself. For Ad Hoc News, I'm Brittany Thomas.